deal has been closed. Strictly for business. Basically, all I have to do is sign papers. I don't want to go in that steam room because it smells like fish sucking. That's what I get better at. Never done this before. You've been in your phone for like 20 minutes. Papi Ladies and gentlemen, it is your host, Kazalan4. A first vlog of mine, never done this before. I don't know if I'm actually gonna finish this video at all. I'm just trying to see if it's gonna turn out well at all. Maybe it's not, but I'll still probably post it because I'm trying to get inside of the vlog game. Anyways, so today it's about uh, seven o'clock a.m. and we're going to get some coffee for my parents. Dad's about to go head out to work. Mom, she's got a busy day ahead of her. Me, I'm gonna be lazy for most of the day, so yeah, I basically just got to go to the gym and then I'll come back home, maybe study or go to the library and study. And then I got to go over to a Toyota dealership and uh, sell my vehicle to them because what's cool is that CarMax was basically the highest bidder for my vehicle. I'm selling it for more than I got it for, but you know, with insurance and everything, uh, you know, it's, it's, I'm not going to be earning that much profit, but still, it's not a bad investment if I'm selling it for more than I really bought it for. Anyways, yeah, I'll be selling it over to uh, Toyota. And they're offering me 500 bucks more than CarMax's offer, like I said, who was the highest bidder. So we're gonna be doing that today, and maybe something else, maybe we'll go eat somewhere. We'll see, but anyways. Basically, I, I also need to find a vehicle, cause I'm getting rid of mine. I'm trying to sell it, cause I got 2,000 miles on it now, and I'm still trying to, you know, technically make a profit. I still need another vehicle, and the used car market right now is super saturated right now, like with the prices and all that. Like, I don't know if there's any real good deals out there anymore. So I might have to go for another new car. If that's the case, I kind of want a, a Toyota 86 GR, GR86, but I don't know if I can find a good deal, cause a lot of these dealerships these days are charging like hella over MSRP. Maybe if we can't find one of those, uh, we'll probably go for like a Lexus IS250 F Sport, hopefully, or maybe a 350, that'll be fire. Um, but yeah, I definitely want an F Sport. I like the speedometer. Hello, what are you doing? Fantastic. Fifteen twenty-five for you. Awesome. You can uh, do a fifteen percent tip. Oh, thank you. Of course. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Did you already run that through? Yeah, I can. I can erase it though. Okay. I can void it and then. Awesome, you're, awesome. you're awesome. Have a good one. Story of the day. Point of the day is make sure if you have parents, people who care about you, make sure you treat them every once in a while. This is something I'm trying to get better at. Not trying to be motivational out here or anything, but I definitely am. Alright, well sadly I can't show off my fire music to you guys because I'm connected to, you know, my 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 car, my truck with Android Auto or Bluetooth. And every time I start playing a video on my phone, it disconnects. Um but yeah, I got the coffee right here. And we're about to go give this to my parents. Hook me up with that subscribe and like if you care. If you care about people. Anyways, we're about to go give it some, and then after that. All right, peeps. Peeps, as you can see, I'm in like my uh, four million dollar mansion. Don't tell the IRA. Um, and I'm about to, you know, overdose on these uh, vitamin pills. Right, as you can see, I got about 15 in my hand. No, it's really just four, but you know, it sucks taking them all at once. But that's just the way to do it. Yeah, I'm about to have these vitamin pills, and then uh, we're gonna head out to the gym. It's already. Uh, you can see on my watch right here, pretty fire. It's already about 11 o'clock and I've been on my phone for over like four hours today already. If you go to my watch time, one of those hours is basically from like staying up till 1 a.m. today on my phone. Um, so yeah, I really got to work on my phone time, my screen time. I'm trying to not go on my phone at least no more than two and a half hours a day. So far, I've not come even close to that goal since I made it like at the beginning of this year. And I'm sure that's something a lot of us can relate to. We're on our phones too much. But honestly, me, me more than anybody. I was on my phone for like 11 hours yesterday. That's not even a joke. That's 100% for real. So yeah, I'm gonna chuck these uh, vitamin pills real quick and then we're gonna head over to the gym. Hopefully I can get you a little bit of footage of myself and uh, maybe just like, I don't know, do some simple pranks, just mess with people. Uh, don't expect much at this point, but I plan on doing a lot like that in the future. Um, and then after that, you know, since I was on my phone so much, I didn't really have time to go to the library and read before I head over to Toyota, but maybe we'll do some of that at home um, for like an hour before we head out. We'll see how long we're gonna be at the gym, probably just like an hour and a half. We'll see, I'll, I'm probably just gonna try to get a couple awkward conversations going with people or just, you know, randomly act like I know someone when I'm talking to him even though he has no idea who I am but I don't think I can get you that great of a footage right now because I'm by myself filming myself obviously gonna be too obvious if I'm just pointing a camera at someone that I'm just trying to film a YouTube video or a prank but we'll see we will see what happens ladies and gentlemen also the fist looking pretty nice got the Nike hat we got the North Face. You know, we're cross-branding, but it's not that big of a deal. It's not like Nike and Adidas, so it doesn't really count. You know, most people won't really even notice. So Nike hat, North Face jacket. Underneath, uh, we have a Nike shirt, actually. Well, actually, no, it's not Nike, but it's not like name brand, so it's still valid. Push and pee, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
Well, I don't know if that'd be pushing P technically because you know, it's not like matching, but it's not name brand. So I don't think it's pushing B, but it is valid. Anyways, the Nike shorts as well. We got the Adidas socks going right here, but you know, I kind of crumpled them up like this so no one really see the Adidas. So we're still valid because no one can tell. If no one can tell, it's still valid. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm gonna wear some, um, I'm gonna wear my brother's shoes. Hopefully he didn't take them. Yeah, he didn't wear them. He didn't take his shoes. So I'm gonna wear my brother's shoes. So I'm gonna wear uh, his Nike shoes. Yeah, my brother didn't take his Nike shoes, so I'm gonna wear those. They're black Nikes. Uh, he wears my shoes all the time, so you know I can wear his shoes too every once in a while. Those are actually the only shoes of his that I wear, just the Nike ones. They're black, and I don't really have uh, black Nike shoes that are in that good of a condition. I'm not a big shoe guy. I mean, I really like cool shoes, but at the moment, I'm not a big fan of spending like 200 bucks on a bunch of pairs of shoes. And by 200 bucks, I mean 200 bucks per pair, because that's how much people spend on shoes these days. By the way, shout out to anyone who sucks at taking pills, because you know I've been like taking pills for a long time. I consider myself a veteran. You know, taking those. Uh, uh, what is it, the Yobani gummies or something? You know, vitamin gummies. I've been a veteran. Like, I've been doing this for a long time. I've been in the business, is what I'm trying to say. But I still suck at taking, like, the bigger pills. Like, every once in a while, I'll have one of these pills. For some reason, it just wants to grip onto my tongue, even though it's on the very back of my tongue. And I just suffocate instead of swallowing it with water. <sighs> hey, but someday, I'm going to be in my prime again, and I'll be swallowing pills like nothing. But, like, good pills. Not like, you know, I don't know, bad pills that help you uh, not feel pain or anything. I'm talking about vitamins, people. I don't know what you're talking about, but... Get your mind out of the gutter. I got the leather Toyota packet with all the paperwork and stuff, like the manuals that I came with. And I got the CarMax off right here. Can't show you the front because first, first off, never share your financial information with people. Keep it to yourself, people. Also has like all my personal information on it. I'm not trying to share that with you. Not yet, not yet. Not that anyone would even show up to my house and ask for my autograph, but hey, maybe someday. Okay, so you heard that bag? That bag is for me to put all my stuff from my truck into after i come back from the gym so i gotta move all the junk i have inside my car and inside my truck out from my truck because i'm gonna be selling it real soon not that i have a lot in here just mainly in this thing right here see a bunch of junk in there yeah i gotta get rid of that hopefully i'm not alone on this i really get tired of just refilling my water bottle so i'll either just bring a you know a plastic water bottle to the gym that's you know already filled from the store like costco or something or i'll just bring one of these these fair life protein drinks it's got 30 grams of protein that's pretty darn good if you ask me they're from costco that's where i got these ones at um they taste pretty good but you know if you look at the ingredients I'm not trying to be that guy but it does have sucralose or sacralose I don't know how to say it. Yeah, it's got sucralose or sacralose, and apparently that's not too good for you. That's all I really know. So I'm probably not gonna be getting these in the future, maybe something else instead. Um, they're not even that great of a deal anyways, but they're pretty good. But yeah, I'm just gonna be drinking uh, water from the water fountain at the gym. Surprisingly, 24 Hour Fitness actually has some decent water from their water fountains. I guess they changed their filters recently. Hopefully they keep that up. Um, I can't really say too many great things about their steam room, and sauna I think is okay, but steam room, sometimes, I'm just telling you right now, at least at my gym, it smells straight up like the ocean, all right? I went, I went with my parents to the gym the other day um, and brought them to the gym early in the morning because they never go to the gym really anymore. And I have the buddy passes now, so I brought them in. I wanted to show them how great the gym was, brought them into the steam room, and they're like, hey, we didn't come here for the ocean. We didn't come here for fishing. We came here to work out and also detox in the sauna and the steam room. And I want to go in that steam room because it smells like fish and it smells like urine. And that's kind of facts. It did smell pretty bad. Um, you know, 24 hour fitness don't roast me. This is my personal opinion right now. Um, it was just at that time, usually the steam room isn't that bad. But yeah, I alerted, I alerted the uh, employees um, and hopefully uh, I think they fixed the situation because I went in yesterday, it didn't smell that bad. So uh, yeah, hopefully they just uh, keep checking up on the steam room because it was, it was smelling pretty bad last time I took my parents with me there. Anyways, hey, also on another note real quick, 5G, Listen, I got Mint Mobile, and I was thinking they're all that because they were Ryan Reynolds' company. You know, that's the only reason why I bought it. Ryan Reynolds, guys, like, come on. Anyways, I bought it. I got the 5G, paid like 300 bucks for a one-year membership, and um, the 5G is lacking. Like, it's it's pretty bad. It's worse than LT, at least for me. And uh, you know, they were saying like 5G is the future, and they're using like T-Mobile towers too. Like, they got good towers, so I don't know what's up with that. Like, I got the max bars for 5G, like four bars, and it's still hella slow for some reason. So yeah, I don't know, Mint Mobile, you got to fix that, or maybe it's T-Mobile just you know playing them and you know chasing the bag um but yeah it's kind of disappointing i don't know if i'll be with them next year we'll see uh don't sue me again like this is my personal opinion please do not sue me like please anyways also uh i'm really happy because uh, i'm about to sell my car today like you guys know like i mentioned like 20 times already and the cool thing is that the speedometer not speedometer but the the fuel tank is almost running low on gas so i'm happy so i'm happy i'm not giving them the vehicle with the full tank of gas because i'm pretty sure they wouldn't give me more money if it was full all right, we landed at the parking lot for 24 Hour Fitness. And this guy's car is really close to the line. Mine, you know, parking job, I could have straightened out the wheels, but I got 
I got a decent amount of room here. So if this dude hits my car on the day I'm selling it, if he hits my truck on the day I'm selling it, we're gonna have a problem. We're gonna have a problem. A real problem. That's all I'm gonna say. Papi Munino. Not bad, not bad. All right, so it is leg day, but of course we're gonna skip it. That is all they do. Hey man, how many more sets do you have? What's up? How many more sets do you have? Last one, sorry, I'll do it. Yeah, you've been on your phone for like 20 minutes, man. I'm trying to use this one. I'm playing bro. I'm just trying to make a film a YouTube video. <laughs> just messing with people. Sure. Yeah. Alright, <clears throat> so story time. I said it. So I tried to do a prank for the first time while filming. And I was just filming myself because it, it would have been too obvious if I was filming the guy. I guess he didn't know I was filming. You know, when I tried to prank him, I guess I was too serious or something. Yeah, he took it really seriously and like it just ruined his mood. So I felt really bad, honestly. But yeah, I'll get better at these pranks as we uh, go along and keep doing them. I'm going places and soon I'm going to have people filming me for my pranks so you can see the person's reaction because that's what really makes it funny. If This prank might have been funny if you guys would have seen his reaction, but the camera wasn't pointing at him. So yeah, we're going to be doing stuff, people. Just stay tuned. And I got a prank for the next vlog relating to the gym, so make sure you stay tuned. Also, my phone is completely burning my hand right now because I don't have a case on, so the metal is just heating up and it's burning me, so I'm going to put this camera away right now. Um, but see you in the next scene. Okay, so we're back now in the man's cave, and I'm about to take a shower and change, you know, dress pretty decently well. I want these people to know that this guy knows what he's doing. This guy is here strictly for business. We're not going to sell a vehicle to him because I'm not trying to buy a vehicle today. Alrighty, people, we're on our way now to Toyota and we're gonna be uh, selling this vehicle hopefully for 500 bucks more than CarMax was offering me, which is a pretty darn good deal. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's a profit, but it's definitely more than I bought it for. So it's kind of like break even, uh, you know, when you add in all the insurance that I paid so far and all the DMV fees I had to pay, which is still not a bad deal. Like I practically drove this vehicle for almost free for the past few months, but yeah, it's lit. All right, people, the deal has been closed. I just sold my Tacoma. There it is. It is right there. That's it. I'm getting a new car now. I don't know exactly what though, but I'm getting a new car. All right, so yeah, I'm new to this, but I'll tell you how things turned out. I basically sold the vehicle uh, pretty fast at the dealership, and uh, basically all I had to do was sign papers. It was a really smooth process. Toyota treated me very well. I actually know the salesman there. He was a great guy. So maybe next time, if you own a Toyota, maybe look into selling it to Toyota dealerships because they might offer you more than CarMax. Just something to keep in mind. But that's about it for today's vlog, guys. I know I didn't really film a lot. Most of the clips you're watching were just me, but that's gonna change. It's gonna be a lot more entertaining in the future. Trust me, I've got plans, ideas. But right now, I'm probably gonna edit this video that you're watching right now, which is pretty cool to think about. But that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, trust me, I know this probably wasn't the best video, but it's gonna get a lot more entertaining and a lot more fun and funny, hopefully. So stay tuned.